Anybody see the movie It this weekend? That did quite, yeah. Yeah, it was the number one movie about a dangerous clown who terrifies both children and adults. Yeah, and yet somehow ends up getting elected president. That's the part <laughs> that, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that part coming. Uh, speaking of it, this is true in Texas this weekend. This was a huge movie. Mm -hmm. People love this movie. In Texas this weekend, they had a special event. A movie theater hosted a showing of the movie It that was for an, an audience made up entirely of clowns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, only one car showed up, but the place was packed. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Right? Come on. That one was for my mom, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I like the clowns that don't murder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people in the South are still dealing with Hurricane Irma. That's still going on. When asked about Hurricane Irma, President Trump said, this is some big monster. Yeah. In other words, Trump's plan to combat Hurricane Irma is fat shaming it. That was his idea. <laughs> you little heavy. She could lose a few. She could lose a few. Uh, <laughs> over Twitter, I don't know if you saw this, over Twitter, billionaire Richard Branson revealed the damage done by the hurricane to his private island. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. How could God allow such a thing? <laughs> How could God? He's a billionaire. Yes. His private island destroyed. I'm sad. I found that funny. You did not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the crowd tonight is made up mostly of Most billionaires. Billionaires. <laughs> I forgot. We have a very Each person. Everybody here. Everybody here. You know what? I should have known when everyone took their own Learjet to the right, taping right, today. Right, yeah. That should have been the giveaway. Right. It was reported yesterday that two people were arrested for throwing a yoga mat at the White House. <laughs> Yeah, when she heard this, Melania Trump said, yoga mat, I told him to throw me a rope ladder. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Pope Francis was in uh, Latin America over the weekend. Pope Francis, Andy, I know you keep track of his movements. I do. <laughs> Pope Francis in Latin America over the weekend, and he called it a moral responsibility for everyone to fight climate change. That's pretty cool, yeah. That's what he said, yeah. Or, or, or as Fox News reported it, Hispanic guy in dress wants to take away your SUV. <laughs> Slightly different twist. That's, that's just what they... I don't know why that one got a lot of like, yeah, don't, yeah. <laughs> well, they might say that, no, okay. I'll clap at that. While in Colombia, the Pope bumped his head in his Pope mobile. Yeah, he just, just bumped his head. He's fine, but he just bumped his head in the Pope mobile. Yeah. Apparently, no one noticed because they're used to the Pope yelling, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thank you.